To get the quest to do Titania, you have to go to any of the relays, and it's literally at the Rhino statue, turn left. You can actually see it on the map, it's a little blue X. It's inside of the new Loka room, and you've basically got to talk to the person everybody's in front of. But once you're done, there it is, all you gotta do is click accept quest, not going to spoil it too much just yet. Then to start the quest, you have to go to the codex, under quests, it'll be here somewhere, just, okay, they're all done. And you literally just hit begin. Are you ready to help our silver grove? We need the Apothic to awaken its defenses. Scour the system and find the plants we need. So, search the system for plants and it give us a blueprint. Now this is where things start to get pretty weird because you have to scan plants and they've added a lot more plants. Not just on Earth with the Moonlight Dragonfly and the Sunlight Threshcomb, which the Sunlight stuff is during the day, the Moonlight is at night, and Earth rotates every four hours between day and night. So if, you, if it's night time when you go, it could be day time when you go five minutes later, if you're really lucky because you could catch it as it's changing, but it tends to change every four hours between moonlight and sunlight, and the sunlight stuff's during the day, moonlight's during the night. Plus, it also, at the side here, you'll notice, I've just come back to the ship, because I'm busy doing something else, and she's actually telling you that it grows in poisonous conditions, so she'll actually give you hints to where this stuff grows. And how's this for luck, one of the best places I can find for this stuff? Using the scanner stuff will appear. Oh, hang on, is that? I did not know there was a door up here. Uh, yeah, it grows in water. And as you can see, it's literally just the top poking out of the water. But it shows up, you can actually see it, and it's right behind where you spawn. That's not the only place it'll spawn, but I was really expecting that to look a lot taller or stick out a bit more. That is insanely subtle. Uh. Okay, what the... there it goes. One mission! Eleven of them. Wow. So we'll set that off to build. Hopefully these things don't take too long. It's a minute. That's not long at all. Once it's done and you've collected it, don't forget. You have to put this thing in your gear. Whether I like it or not, I'm just going to have to take out the normal scanner. I don't use it anyway. There it is. Then, once you have it in your gear, you have to go put it in something called a shrine. I don't know, I'm kind of with you at the minute. No idea. It says find the shrine. And it's actually going to start the mission this time. I kind of forgot it last time. Ah, the silver grove, she says. Earth is toxic. That's the whole point of the vermilion storm and the toxic in Okay, why is Earth on fire? Why? Okay, wait, I can catch fire touching that. Yep, I'll go in the water, that'll put us out. Oh, speaking of uh, daylight flowers. Come on. Scan. Oh, holy. Uh, um, <laughs> these are moonlight flowers. But it's daytime. Okay. It actually tells you when you start to get close. Now, as far as I can tell, it's a hidden room somewhere. I have absolutely no idea where, but I have noticed that these flowers are appearing insanely often. There's another one. Oh, it was, I thought one of the butterfly things flew in front of us. But yeah, these things used to be really rare to find, and I've just found three or four of each. Uh, no, another one. They are well worth scanning even if you don't need them anymore. Oh, wait. There it is. It's through here. Nothing to scan. But that's the th thing from the, um, the quest video with the butterflies on it. Something just... Book. 
I heard voices. I'm, I'm trying to have a look around and see if there's anything here before I move on. Because you never know, especially with this game. Could be anything, anywhere. And you don't really want to miss it. I've probably missed something. But put it in, see what happens. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, so standing still, not such a good idea. I also cannot see a thing. Oh no, I can't put the bubble up. What have I done? I want to scan you. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, so you've got to obviously fight these things. That l That's Loki. That's a lot of Loki. That's a lot of Loki. Come on. Yep. He also seems to be immune to being shot. Seriously, stand still. I'm trying to scan you. Stop putting the scanner away, you turd. Oh, yeah, because it's not obvious that he's invisible. Oh, screw this. You can't scan the dead body. Just for the record. But if that is Loki, does that mean this thing has sent Loki out against her? And when can we have a Loki that summons active decoys. It is night time, but if you look in the background there, the entire planet is on fire. Uh, I hope something explains that because Earth isn't normally on fire. But when you do leave this planet, you will get, for the first one, the systems for Titania and the blueprint for the next part, which is the Twilight Apathic Blueprint. And of course, to build Titania's system, it's 2,200 cryotic, one control module, 800 plastids, one tellurium, I forgot that stuff doesn't, uh, it's not like an argon crystal, I thought it was for some reason, and it's a 12 hour build, so you can set it off now or wait until you've got the rest of them, I will be waiting unfortunately. The, it keeps disappearing, the twilight uh, stuff, however, needs Moonlight Jade Leaf, which is why I said always scan that stuff. It was, once upon a time, a huge pain to find that stuff. Like when there was an event running for it, finding it was next to impossible. So I usually scan it if I come across it. Something called Rune's Claw and Luna... Well, I wonder where that spawns. Rook's Claw, it literally says... Collects moisture in a harsh environment brain went to desert and yes Mars and of course the lunar pitcher well can be found growing in the wilderness of it literally says where it is right there see laws eh, rook's claw Mars there's actually another one around the corner but scanning these things you can literally appear through walls when you start to get close enough to them and this is what the lunar pitcher looks like to be honest kind of spawns randomly but as you can expect it's got to be in soil so obviously it's not going to grow through this stuff of course once you scanned all of that you can come in and what's there it is and set this one off to build then like the other one when it's done claim it it'll come up saying visit the shrine but don't forget Equip it in the gear, it'll come up in the empty slot. It should be empty for some reason, it's not. It still has the other one still in there. Oh wow, look at how many thresh cones there is there. This is the start of the level, and there's five. And she's basically saying the same thing there, choking the planet with their flames. Look at it, they've literally set the planet on fire. And again, almost, almost the same place. This reminds me of... Anaris's quest, but this time I'm ready. Hang on. Anything to scan yet? I wish you could scan the butterflies as really stupid as that sounds. Because that would be, I mean, imagine trying to scan these things that are flying closer. That would be almost impossible, but I've looked. I can't see anything round here, so I'm just going to jump straight into it and see what he throws it with this time. 
That was literally it. Get out now. Oh, you can, in fact, scan them. You turd. What is that? Orphid husk. Oh, yeah. Also, I may want to do this because I'm about to die. I'm going to die anyway. Let's put this up instead. There's husks down there. Oh, they're her husks because she, it's thrown Saren at her. Saren, I may also add, has her offered skin on. Can't scan it anymore. I can scan the husk though. I'll do that. There's no reason to scan them. It's just... God damn it, that's not the kind of weapon I should be using to fight her. I'll save you, Luna. What? Oh no, am I going to have to fight Titania after this? I was hoping that the um, talking there was going to last just a little bit longer. I will get my meditated uh, camera manoeuvre in and not be shot at when I do it. It is my goal. And again, once the mission's over, new blueprint, Sunrise one this time, and Titania's chassis. Titania's chassis does require three Nighton extract. 1 tellurium, 3,000 ferrite, and 900 rubido. For the Sunrise Apothic, what you need is, as well as the Sunlight Jade Leaf, again, if you haven't been scanning these while doing the missions, you really should, because it turns out they're needed for pretty much everything. You need Frost Leaf, is this stuff, and it says it's literally frigid whatever. It's the Corpus Outpost tile set. That's Venus and Pluto. Remembering this has to be on a planet, not on a ship. As well as Vestan Moss, highest number so far at 25, as a hotfix comes in. I really hope that doesn't mess with my quest. That is going to suck. But anyway, it's this stuff and it, well, come on, it says it thrives on asteroids in deep space. Asteroids, I think there's only like one or two places that you can class as the Grenier asteroid tile set. The frost leaf stuff has been a pain to find any of. This is the first time I've found any, and luckily I found two next to each other. Oh wait, there's another one. It literally spawns on the edge of cliffs, and sometimes doesn't spawn at all. This is the third or fourth time I've done a mission on, well, yeah, on Venus. I was about to jump to Pluto, but I found three of them. The Vestan Moss looks like that. Let's pretend he didn't just, she didn't just do that. And it's actually quite a pain to find because it can sometimes not show up at all. Kind of zoned out on that one, but uh, once you do have the stuff, the moss is such a pain to find. I actually did one mission too much. Set that off to build. Again, it just takes one minute to build. Once it's done building, don't forget to put it in your gear. That's kind of important. If you forget it, well, things won't end nicely. Oh, it's talking to you as soon as you land. Yes, I have returned to protect you. So it's asking for the last thing, even though it was saying no earlier. Eh? Okay, so... One's telling you to save them. One's telling you not. <laughs> and the new Loka have decided Earth is beyond saving. Let's not get into the fact that that's quite funny. But they've decided it's not worth saving and to just let it burn. And I did it again. I pressed the wrong thing. I was going to put the camera out beforehand. God damn it. Wait, is that really right here? What a very, very weird place to put the Cephalon fragment. Oh, I've got a... <laughs> Yes, I am like another that has come to protect you. Beware. Titania's old guardians will still attack. 
Whoa, okay, you're kind of owning the crap out of me right there. Wow. That fire damage. Over on, be over gone. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. I kind of wish I'd brought better weaponry though. Mind you, still managed to take him out fairly quickly. So, am I leaving now while this thing fights off enemies or... Nope, New Loka has decided we're going to stay instead. I cannot say a thing. God damn, Kavat just scared the crap out of us. I thought it was an enemy. Okay. Somebody tell me. Oh! Okay. Well, there's enemies spawning. Quite a lot of enemies. Oh, not flamethrowers. Flame and fire damage. How are you taking... Okay. Didn't see him. Or him. Oh, God. That's... There's a... So much fire. What the hell? He hit these fire things. No damage to them at all. Oh, it's become a defense mission. I've just now looked over to the right and noticed that. How the? Okay, might have been a better idea to come in here with more than me. Oh, hey, no. It wouldn't be so bad, but the fire guys, fire just goes straight through frost bubble. It is very weak to fire, which considering it's an ice bubble kind of makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it also helps if I don't leave this thing alone while all these things are trying to kill it. Ah, see? Straight through the bubble. No idea what it was, but it went straight through the bubble. Oh, napalm. That would do it. But how did it go through the bubble? Its defense thing it seems to be a bit glitchy. Hello. Goodbye. I'm, I'm getting control. Hold on. I can help too. Um... And there it is after that, Titania's Neuroptics. A helmet, depends how long you've been playing for. The Silver Grove was planted with the right seeds of the Orkin. Corrupt in the eyes of our doctrine. Our tenets command us to reject it. But how can we? Silvana longs to restore Earth's former glory just as we do. If we are to see Earth restored, perhaps New Loka itself must change. I will convince them to see Sylvana's creation for the miracle it is. Some will call it heresy, but it is true, and truth is the purest thing we have. And after that, Titania's blueprint. You don't have to buy it, it is given to you. That's a nice touch. And that's it. That is the quest basically completed. Nice. Let's go see how much it costs to actually build the stuff. Well, I think it was just the helmet. On the way there though, basically once you put the stuff in the shrine, it became, the two entities became one, this Slavana thing, and she, it, whatever, talks about Titania a bit. And then New Loka kind of changed its mind. Again.